as any good DJ can do, you have to find the connecting points. Two things that seem impossible to communicate, the, by a creative connecting of the dots, you find a way they can talk to each other. But how do I take the skill of the DJ to manipulate matter and material in my hand, but still relying on the sound source as playing into the reading of the, the final thing I make? I just came up with all these kind of systems of how to treat the record as a physical material. I had this idea of, well, what if you just kept scratching it till it turned to dust? Or what if you used an X-Acto knife instead of a stylus? So grinding, powderizing, pulverizing, like literally putting a record in a mortar and, and grinding it with a pestle um, in this kind of, kind of witch's brew of uh, materials and then just sort of inventing strategies of what to do with that powder. So this, this piece is called Shaker Apothecary, and there's actually three artworks together, but I'll focus on the main cabinet here. I was trying to explore the history of dancing in American religion, in particular the Shakers, and also the dance craze phenomena and the accompanying single that often would give the instructions on how to do the dance. Could I combine these histories into these medicinal potions? So in every drawer is a different dance craze record, 45, that I've ground up as a powder, and I've mixed it with an actual herb or, or flower or bark, all uh, ingredients that had a medicinal or a religious quality to shaker medicine and different kinds of folk medicine traditions. But that ingesting these things could produce this type of dancing or movement in the body as a form of healing, which is very much a part of club culture, uh, the, the dance floor as being a site of, of worship and uh, healing that occurs through the music and the act of dancing. And I find that narrative quite similar to the traditions of the shakers. So the piece is meant to make a nod to those two histories. The term that I like to use is materialist poet. The role of language in the work is vital to the actual making of the object, but also the viewer's relationship to it when they read the materialist or the title. And I kind of work backwards from a lot of object makers in that I have no idea what I'm going to make generally until I've built the narrative How can I integrate all this research I had done on censorship? So in this case, Lion or Lamb is this company I'd come up with, and this was the advertisement for all the bands they were going to promote for the year. Uh, this one is by Lutherans of Gold. Wherever he leads, my hips won't follow, or celibate with an agenda. I've imagined a whole series of acceptable dance crazes, which are all oddly sexual themselves. A lot of my work is about philosophy. I like to try to find some way to reframe those old fundamental questions through other passions, like some music in this case. But just as a DJ can tease out a whole new universe of sounds by the way you manipulate that needle and the vinyl, I think I'm doing a similar thing with finding some new universe in these objects by manipulating them.